The views expressed are solely those of the speaker and not necessarily those of Paltalk.com, AVM software, or its advertisers. News Talk is online. News Talk Online is a production of Paltalk.com, the largest multimedia interactive program on the internet with more than 4 million unique users. On demand on iTunes, on demand on YouTube, and thanks to our great friends at CRN Digital Talk Radio, we are distributed to cable systems serving an additional 12 million households. I'm your host, Gary Baumgarten. Well, didn't we have a ball yesterday? We were in uh, McCain headquarters in FLA, and who wins the GOP primary in Florida but McCain? Today, we got urgent calls from the Obama camp and the Clinton camp, as well as the Romney camp, asking us, next week, Super Tuesday, could you please take News Talk Online on the road to our victory parties, because you proved to be such good luck for John McCain, we want you to be broadcasting live from our presidential victory party next week, next Tuesday, Super Tuesday. We did not get calls from Rudy Giuliani or John Edwards because Rudy Giuliani and John Edwards were busy bowing out of the race. R Rudy uh, gave his support to McCain. Now, there are those who uh, were surprised that McCain won yesterday in Florida, because uh, there are those on the conservative end of the Republican Party who believe that they are representative of the true values of the grand old party, who believe that McCain is really more moderate, leaning even towards being like a Democrat, even though he has been a Republican for all these years, to their liking. And they thought a closed primary, such as the one in Florida yesterday, would have uh, resulted in a Romney win, not a McCain win. But McCain won nevertheless. Now, there are those who say it's because there are so many old fogies in Florida and they can relate to McCain. Maybe that did have something to do with it. I don't know. Uh, but I am going to suggest to you right now, and I want to know what you guys all think, uh, that the trimming of the... Uh, of the presidential candidate list almost assuredly means that the Republicans will retain control of the White House. Why do I say this? How can this be possible when, in fact, the approval rating of the current president of the United States, who is a Republican, is very low? How could I say this at a time when Maybe six months ago, everybody was saying there's no way the Republicans will retain control of the White House. Well, two reasons. One, the Democrats who took control of Congress during the midterm elections did so on the promise that they would end the war in Iraq. They were unsuccessful in ending the war in Iraq. So I think those who want to see the U.S. troops pulled out of Iraq have lost faith in the ability of the Democratic Party to change the course. And if you listen to the Democratic candidates, none of them are saying that uh, they will unilaterally remove the troops. In fact, the only candidate who is saying that he would unilaterally remove the troops is Ron Paul, who I do not believe to be a, uh, a viable uh, candidate for president. I don't think he can get elected president. He's got the money to run the campaign, and he's using the campaign as his bully pulpit, uh, but he's not uh, translating that into votes, at least not as a Republican. The other reason that I, I think it's going to be very difficult for the Democrats to uh, take control of the White House is now the, the two only viable candidates on the Democratic uh, ticket are Hillary and Obama. And I think that there's still too much of a bias in this country among too many people who would vote against a woman president or a black president. I just want to reiterate, for those of you who are not familiar with my point of view, I care not a person's gender or race or 
has, has become an issue during this presidential campaign, an individual's religious uh, affiliation or lack thereof. I care about whether the person is best qualified to uh, be president of the United States. So I'm not projecting my fears uh, for of a uh, woman or a black president. No, I am not, but I'm analyzing it, and I think that there are just too many people who would not, uh, when push comes to shove, vote for Hillary or Obama. And so because of these two factors, I suspect, unless there are going to be uh, some major changes, something major happens between now and November, that either Romney or McCain, Whoever is uh, nominated by the Republicans will probably be the next president of the United States, presuming that the person doesn't stumble along the way. Now, where does that leave if McCain becomes the nominee for the Republican Party, the conservatives who really dislike him? I mean, if you listen to Rush Limbaugh and Sean Hannity, for example, you will hear those two very conservative Republicans attacking uh, McCain incessantly. Well, they'll have no place to go because you're not going to find a conservative Republican crossing over to vote for an Obama or a, a Hillary Clinton. So that is why I believe unless something drastic changes, and of course that could happen between now and November, but if things are, the political climate is such as it is today in November, I suspect that whoever the Republicans choose to be president, uh, their presidential candidate will be the next president of the United States. Now, what do you think about that? Not only do I want to know, ladies and gentlemen, what you think about that, but as you know, yesterday we had a great time taking this show on the road, on the road to the White House, coming to you live from the John McCain Victory Party, his headquarters in Miami, Florida. Uh, people thought that it really enhanced our coverage of the election. I agree with that. It causes us to consider what other events and locales we might want to take News Talk Online to, News Talk Online on the road, if you will. So everybody who comes up to the microphone, I am going to ask you, where do you think, <laughs> where do you think Gary should go? And I don't mean to Hades. I'm not inviting you to tell me to go to Hades. <laughs> Let's take our first caller. Our first caller is Matt, and he is joining us from Kansas. Matt, welcome to News Talk Online on paltalk.com. 